Well, hi, and welcome to Coffee with Chris. Boy, we are, well, first of all, we are the front porch located at 24 South Main Street in downtown Pennington, New Jersey. And did I miss you? <laughs> and from some of the messages I got, I think you missed me too. I will tell you, I wasn't here on Friday and it wasn't because I was sick or anything like that. It was because I was in Atlanta, Georgia. And you might say, why were you in Atlanta, Georgia? Were you shopping? No, we went down. Uh, it was really great. We had, John and I actually flew down on Thursday and uh, we spent the weekend in Atlanta with our wonderful son, Murph, and his fabulous fiance, Nancy, and her two wonderful parents, Laura and Felix, and we just had a great time. But the mission of the weekend was for yours truly to find the location for the rehearsal dinner and for the uh, celebration, uh, the, the, the uh, welcoming party uh, after the rehearsal dinner. That was the mission. It was accomplished. So after that, we just had fun, fun, fun. So sorry I wasn't here. <laughs> You just can't do everything, right? But I'm here today, and today is March 6th, Wednesday. So let's talk about what's happening. And as you know, there is always a lot of stuff going on here. When I walked in, I hadn't been here since actually a week ago today, and Karen has just worked her magic. So let's take a look at what's going on. First of all, I grab these two items out of the window. Karen, I promise I will put them back. Hopefully they will look the way they did when you left here. First of all, I have to show you this. It just makes you feel like spring. Karen has this beautiful sweater that just came in from that wonderful company made in the USA. This is just gorgeous. It is the sweater that goes up slightly in the front, down in the back, a lot of you love this body. And how about this gorgeous scarf? Absolutely gorgeous. And then Karen has paired it with this beautiful necklace that's actually made in New Jersey. And then for you pink girls, I just have to show you this. Karen also uh, put this um, in the window. This is beautiful. This is, I think they call this I can't remember, I think it's like a nubby sweater. Um, I also have this one, <laughs> I think I have maybe, I don't know, three to four of the different styles. I absolutely love this sweater. Uh, but it's just, as you can see, it's just a little bit different. It is even in the front and in the back and a lot of you do like this style. Then, I don't think I've shown you this, so I need to show it to you quick because we only have a few left. The St. Patrick's Day t-shirts, these are sized. We did have small to XL. I didn't take a look this morning to see whether we still have those sizes left, but we did. So if you are interested in this, it is very reasonable, very reasonably priced. So you too can get in the mood for St. Patrick's Day. And don't forget those wonderful scarves and true green sweaters from that Made in USA company. Maybe I'll wear that for you on Friday. And then Karen put this out, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. This is just the beginning of spring for us. Just giving you a sneak peek. There's lots to see if you pop in. And this is one size, and she has this paired with just a cute little tank that is also available for sale. So this would look great with khakis. This would look great with jeans. This would look great with anything. Helen, if you're listening, I think you need to come in and try this sweater on. All right, next. Let's just think a little bit one more time about St. Patrick's Day. Reminder, napkins, not many left. You're loving them. And nice little pillow for your sofa, which I love, luck of the Irish. And as we say, everybody is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. And I might as well show you this. 
We don't have tons of St. Patrick's Day cards left. So remember, get in here and get them fast. Remember, with the beverage napkins, napkins, napkin club, 510, get one for free, doesn't matter what one. Greeting card club, buy 10, get one for free for $4 or less. So keep that in mind. Then the other holiday that is only two weeks <laughs> <laughs> later Easter who would ever believe it's coming so early thinking of that a little bit because we've already been asked for these napkins cute little bunnies once again remember our napkin club and I know a lot of you like Kathy who's probably listening right now likes to ask us what napkins we have and then we put them away for her we've already done that and then of course it's really cute. We have the bunny guest towel. And you can also pair it with the adorable bunny soap and guest towel in the holder. And remember, this is a foaming soap. This is Michelle Design. And of course, we have lots of, as I would call it, flavors in Michelle Design. But of course, we have their most popular flavors. We have the lavender, we have the lemon, and one of my favorites, the honey almond. I think this is so great because it's so neutral, it kind of goes anywhere. Any of their fragrances, any of their flavors, their foaming soap is fabulous and they're always a hit as a gift or as a gift for you. All right, then as I was walking around, let me just check over here um some books i just have to show you some of this first of all let me leave this one towards the middle one of the books that we carry are good night books and they're really cute they're hardback books and i'm just going to show you because we got some new ones in good night unicorn we've had that before you've liked it Good Night, New Jersey, always a favorite. Good Night, America, another really popular book. This is great. You know, if you're invited like to a baby shower and sometimes they say, oh, bring a book. What a great book to take. And a lot of people, in fact, a girlfriend of mine, Ginger, likes to do the Good Night, America. And then we can't forget Good Night, Beach. And last but not least, and this is brand new for them, we have always, would always be popular. We haven't had it yet. Good night, Grandma. And of course, we have to have good night, Grandpa. Then I have to show you this. Another great book company that we really haven't ordered in a while that we just got back in the house is Compendium. And they have some really nice books that are great gifts where you could kind of in, on the inside do a little message. For example, this is a great one, Grateful. And boy, huh, what can you say? We have a lot to be grateful for. And this is a really nice book. We just got it in and wouldn't that be nice to say thank you. Then we have Believe, really nice. And since I was saying thank you, we got back in the house, the ever popular thank you book. And then I need to show you this one, which we had done during COVID and had a very difficult time keeping it in stock or just getting one and not the other. And this is a great book and it's paired with an adorable stuffed animal. This is Compendium and it says, maybe, and then it says, a story about the endless potential in all of us. And it is a pair with this adorable, I don't know if you want to call it a little girl, a little guy, but this is a really, really great story. So, all right. I think that is it for now. I think I've covered everything. So I want to wish everybody a wonderful week. I don't think the sun is going to come out again. We did. We missed it. In Atlanta, it was cloudy and cold. 
finally, I think on the day we were leaving, we saw a little bit of sun, but other than that, it was cloudy and cold. So unfortunately, we missed the sun here. We got back to the gloom and the doom, but hopefully soon we will see the sun and yours truly will be playing golf. All right, so have a wonderful rest of the week and I promise to see you on the next Coffee with Chris. I promise I will be there on Friday. Take care and have a great week.